Illinois Congressman Danny Davis is facing four challengers this year as he seeks re-election. They are all suggesting he is too old to run. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley sitting down with a congressman today who strongly disagrees that his age is an issue. Hi, Taman. Hi, Micah and Ray. His rivals are arguing his time has come and gone. But Danny Davis says in Washington, seniority matters. And there's a lot more he wants to do. Facing four challengers in the March 19th primary, Congressman Danny Davis's campaign literature is reminding voters he's introduced hundreds of bills and brought billions home to the district. I don't know anybody who over these years have been closer to the community than I am. Davis, like President Biden, is hoping to overcome voters' concerns about age. Poll after poll shows the majority of Americans think Joe Biden is too old to serve another term as president. He's 81, you're 82. Do you understand voters' reluctance to support a candidate your age, and will this be your final term? I've been very fortunate. My health is good. I go to the Miles Square Health Center. The doctors look after me. My mind is sharp, as sharp as it can be. I remind people that I'm not running to be the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I'm not running to be on the relay team for the Olympics. I'm running to be able to make serious decisions affecting the movement of our country and the lives of millions of people. With less than a month left in the campaign, Davis is taking aim at his primary rivals, including Kena Collins, a community organizer nearly half his age. I see this as an opportunity that Congressman Davis should have been mentoring me or someone else to take the seat. Do you see her as, as someone you'd be willing to hand the baton to? No. You know, I haven't seen Ms. Collins in the community since the last election. Of course, Ms. Collins talks about her great uh, work Never heard of her before she was running for office. Davis is speaking candidly about another opponent, Melissa Conyers Irvin. She's Chicago treasurer and married to powerful alderman Jason Irvin. They came to me and said, look, we hear you may not run. I said, well, that's true, but I'll let you know. A few weeks went by and then they called again. So, well, let's meet again. We hear that you may not run. I said, well, yeah, I may not run. But I'll let you know. And next thing I know, I'm hearing all kind of things. I've cut a deal with the Irvins. What kind of deal could I cut with the Irvins? On the ballot in the 7th District, it's Davis, Collins, and Conyers Irvin, but also in the hunt, Corey Marshall and Nikhil Batia. The endorsements in this race are pouring in. Davis told us he expects Governor Pritzker will do an event with him next week. Ray and Micah. All right, Taman, thank you.